Hello and welcome to the third episode of J Squad News. I must start off by apologising with how long this has taken to release due to the amount of work that has built up for me over the past couple of weeks. In addition to that, the next episode after this will also have quite a long delay. But without any other excuses to try and make up for why I haven't been putting out episodes, we're just going to move on and I'm going to introduce today's schedule to you. I travel to Lancaster University to engage and compete with Smashers at Bailwick 5. I had brief discussions with them about their craziest grinding sessions. Similarly, I journeyed to Aston University to attend the Arcadian New Era to compete and discuss the concept of tournament nerves. So over the past few weeks, I have been going around certain areas of the United Kingdom. I have been speaking to gamers about certain topics. Coming up in the next segment, you will see a portion of that. So please do enjoy. Lancaster University, an expansive campus in the northern region of England. The fifth installment of the Belwick tournament series was hosted here. It boasted Smash 4, Melee, and Project M brackets. The organisers took control of a couple of the many available lecture rooms on the campus for their spectacular event. I was particularly confined to the Melee and Project M room as I too entered the event and clearly had an amazing time playing my favourite games. However, I did take it upon myself to ask a few competitors a question. Well, when Crispy uh, hosted a fest at his, um, a few bunch of us came, even you came, and uh, what did we do? Me and Q actually did a Diddy vs Bayonetta 99 stocks um, at 4am till 6am. Um, even though the time wasn't that long, it was definitely a grind because of the, the matchup itself. 99 stocks as well. Is long. It's probably sometime in America when I was with some of the Europeans like Amada, Leffen, uh, Wizbro, Man Mango, Shroom. This was at Shroom's place. Shroom, Plop. Uh, there's probably a few others I'm forgetting, but that's probably one of the most uh, high-level uh, grind fest I've had. Uh, we were there. We were there for like uh, like two, three days. So. I guess you could say it spanned, uh, spanned across a few days, but Mango didn't get it the last day. And uh, But yeah, all of us, all of the other people were there before and we were pretty much just grinding the whole time. I'd say the craziest grind I've ever done is when I found Samu on for Glory, who is a German Bayonetta player. Played with him at a ton for like three hours straight. So much bear ladders, so much everything. And I played well and I played surprisingly well, but it was, it was just like, it was crazy. Just... Every time he hit me, I'd die. I had to keep thinking of new ways to get around it. And it was just it was just insanity. Club bear, I mean, that's the nature of the game now. So there we go. That's what I'd say. When uh, PM 3.2 was released, I used to play a lot with my friends. Um, but they all had work, and at the time I didn't. So for about three months, I played six plus hours a day on Netplay and I think I, I would count that as my the, the craziest growing session I've ever done because there's just you a computer and that was it it was just searching for jobs and playing PM searching for jobs and playing PM search for jobs and playing PM uh, I'd probably say the one at Bail Rig I'm not sure which one uh, there was like loads of people from the north come, came down and I played like 11 different people in sets, so yeah, that's probably the one. It is very good to know that I am not alone when it comes to intense grinding sessions. For instance, I grinded Slap City for 26 hours across two days before subsequently attaining 100 hours of gameplay before a week's time. But for sure, the grind paid off. Before we head into the next segment, there is yet another discovery that I want to share with you all. Trust me, I'm pretty sure you'll engage with this one more than the previous one. 
Scientists have created a serum which may end boredom. Yes, you heard that right. Ending boredom. Have you ever been so bored that you would blow the dust off an old instrument and just play? I, for one, know that feeling all too well. Where there is simply just nothing to do. Maybe you end up cleaning around the house for no reason, due to boredom. Well, those days may be the days of the past with the creation of a peculiar orange liquid, which is said to possess the ability to randomly change the core nature of one's character. This will stop anyone's boredom. It is apparently safe. Apparently there are no side effects. And from the sources that I got this from, <laughs> I have no reason to disbelieve these, and you guys can definitely trust me. So I tried it myself, this orange goo of wonder, in order to see what it changed me into. With only half a glass, it did change me into something I never expected. What the hell do y'all think you know about me? Other than the shit fact, you know I'm a freaking G. G for guzzle guzzle all that damn fine liquid. Yum yum with the I'm a handy store kid. So I consume that scientist or insurance, but I ain't gonna change my name like I am some silent villain because I know I am a real NIG. G, I am the top player himself, and that's the freaking golden key. I'm out here masticating. You're in there masturbating. I've got my ego inflating. Your self-esteem is deflating You're slaty and hatey I'm baiting, you're waiting My godly rap time has a really short view Screw this, we're going back to J-Squad news I, accompanied by 10 other J-Squad members attended Aston University to compete in the Smash 4 Arcadian tournament New Era. There were 102 entrants. Slap City and Dragon Ball Fighters also appeared as side events like discussed in an earlier J-Squad news episode. Once the brackets had come to a close, I gathered some New Era competitors to discuss the looming impact of tournament nerves. Hi, my name is Mr. Guys, and I entered this tournament and ex got extremely disappointed by my upset, quote unquote. So I came and placed 70 because clearly my nerves were not in the correct place. I, s I seem to have left them at home. So yeah, um, mainly because I, what was it? Cloaked sword, you cannot be nervous versus somebody who spams dash attack. Because remember, dash attack is a thing and it makes you die at 10. So just keep that in your head. Once you have a single objective in your head, your tournament nerves will die down a little. But the foolish little me just got dash tapped twice. So I'm in a situation where I'm 17. Um, concerning my tourney nerves, I think the, the main thing that, you, that people want to do that I, I express is that if you're ever feeling rattled or shaky, you just want to think about yourself. Don't think about staying to being alive. Think about wanting to win. Because if you think about staying just to be alive, you're gonna fall into more and more pressure. So what I do personally is that if I'm ever rattled or, or shaky, um, if I'm nervous, I just take a deep breath, uh, put some headphones in, listen to that good, good, good music, and just just vibe out, just chill out. You know what I'm saying? Mm, Levi. What so about you, uh, Levi? Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, during my sets, I guess I was faced with like loads of pressure from like my opponents, and I guess once I got space. I more thought about what I was going to do next, took a second like, second out to think about what I was going to do next and what my opponent might do, and that calmed me down a bit. Or maybe in between slots or in between sets, I just think to myself, what am I going to do next? Maybe drink some water, like, just try to relax myself before I make my next move. 
Jamal. Yeah. So. We need to get through this. Like, it's just been. Anyway, so. Personally, how I get through this. <laughs> So personally, how I deal with tournament nerves is like. <laughs> oh, this is sound like Ross from Monster Zinc. I can't. This sounds like Ross from Monster Zinc. <laughs> Hello, my God. <laughs> I'm actually dead. I'm actually dead. I. So, I'll, 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 I'll try and keep this as close to my normal voice as possible. It may, it may come out a bit weird, but I'll try. Anyway, so how I deal with tournament nerves, yeah, is I <laughs> fucking hold so hard. Yes. Um, I, uh, what I, mean? I, I obviously treat it as if uh, it's a fun thing, you know. I'm not trying, well, I'm trying to win, but I'm not trying to get too stressed by it. Otherwise, the tournament nerves just overrun. Mm. And then, like, <laughs> once it starts to overrun, like, it's just going to get worse. Like, for me, when tournament nerves actually do affect me, my stomach goes all over the place and it's not good. Uh, but, like, obviously, you know, today was pretty cool for tournament nerves. I was pretty chilling out. Didn't really care about Smash 4, Slap C. You know, I got second, you know. I'm not flexing or anything, but, you know, yeah, it's what it is. Huh? Flexing in game, though. Yeah, I was flexing in game. I was definitely flexing in game. Uh, the clutch too. Clutch, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, give me some of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So tournament nerves are the most frustrating thing to lose to, right? Oh wait. Oh, there's the mic. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit it. You might as well be so stuck. tournament ma tur tournament nerves are the most frustrating thing to lose to because no matter how much you study the footage and how much you you look back on yourself. If you just keep flubbing your inputs, all you can really learn is, oh no, be less nervous. So there, there's no, there's no quick remedy. There's no, oh look, I flubbed that input. Now that I know, I can stop flubbing that input. No, you're flubbing your input because you had nerves. And nerves, nerves hurt because nerves are what they are. Uh, it's it's kind of that. It's kind of like that. You it's also a, tournament nerves. It's also a huge stall to improvement as well because I feel like as you proceed further in your gameplay as well as uh, just getting like further on in bracket, you get the, the pressure gets to you a lot more. It's like, yeah. you know, you've never been in this round before. Like, you're in, you're in top eight for the first time. I've never been here before. Like, it's really getting to you really badly. <laughs> How'd you get nerves pressing the A button? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I get pleased by nerves. I, 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 I don't think I've ever seen you nervous in my life. Yeah. I know, oh, I'm I bare rusty. Gets top eight a meltdown anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't get nervous, I just... <laughs> so why are you buttons. here? I press buttons, okay? <laughs> you just press... Why are you, on, why are you in this group discussion if you don't get nervous? <laughs> he was dra people like <laughs> dragged in. He was a confident looking guy. They're like, this guy looks confident. Let's drag him in and talk about nervousness. Yeah, yeah how, how do you not get nervous then? Talk about that. Yeah. Um, it's not... I don't know, I just don't... Talk? Okay, basically, yeah. I don't diaphragm. Matter. It doesn't matter to me how we do, how I do at least in terms of things. It's only doubles I actually care about. In only singles, I just pressing it. Which is why I'm more pressured. In I'm gonna fly kick you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how loud we're being. Oh, for God's sake. You're just okay, doing this. Basically, yeah, my focus is doubles, and I actually am ten times more like nervous in doubles than I am in singles. All right then. So how do you alleviate the doubles nerves? Well. The partner, the partner you have with you is a quite, like, quite a big help. Mm -hmm. You know, like singly, you're, you're screwed if you get nervous. Like, unless you've got support behind you with crowds, that's the only way you got it around. But in doubles, you've got your partner. You can always ask them stuff, saying, what did I do wrong, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Super. Yeah, uh, tournaments suck. And, like, it's re it really does, like, it really does, like, suck. <laughs> when you get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> when you get nervous, they start flubbing up your moves, yeah, doing this. bad bomb pulls, and doing bad projectiles, and then you just feel angry and you want to like punch something. The best way. What are you doing? 
the best way to get rid of toilet nurse is to well one of the things I do is listen to music. For example, I listen to a lot of game music, it helps me feel better and stuff like that, you know. Skullgirls music, stuff like that. People oh, yeah. tend to not have lyrics because lyrics can start messing well in terms of like your distraction. Yeah, so I have that when I work as well, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, lyrics throws everything off now. Like. We sincerely apologise for the thing, interruptions in this interview. Also, when you lose a when you lose a game and you feel really nervous and bad, just watch a funny video. I say in case I draw my life, that shit will make you laugh. I like chocolate milk. And there you have it. A great in-depth discussion from a variety of competitors. The J Squad members were in a good mood despite any tournament nerves as they put on a little dance before leaving the venue. We were given some very inspiring and beautiful words from everybody who has taken part in the interview. So really big thanks to them for really sharing their knowledge for all of us to enjoy. And unfortunately, that's all we're gonna have time for this episode. I really hope you enjoy it. And yes, again, I must repeat that I won't be able to put out another episode for quite a while, probably over a month. I do have a project coming up involving filming about science. So even still, you might wanna check that out if you're interested at all to see what I am doing within my masters at university. And so with that, I end this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Goodbye. And once again, we are repping J-Squad all day.